Sure. Blog Talk Radio. There she goes. She did it. Yay. Now we have to talk, right? Yeah, that's how this thing works. What are we calling it this thing? Been. We haven't decided yet. Still? The time will come when we will decide, but the time has not come yet. The name will just be known. Known. The known. Well, we have the, the, the E3 the coming known. today and about the new Apple products. Nobody cares about that, Snipe. Okay. Sorry. We're deciding on a name here. Well, yeah. We're deciding we're... on when we're going to decide on a name possibly made. Well, yeah. we have a name. It's Snipe on the other guys. Uh, I don't know what is the problem. I'm using bar ways. It may actually come at this rate. Mm-hmm. No. But the problem with that is you're not Snipo, you're Boris. Yeah, but we could be... Oh, yeah, well... Well, we can maintain that in secret. Um, I oh, don't know. We keep that a secret that you're Boris? No. Uh, that I, I am Snipo, so every, everybody is just going to ask, who is Snipo? We'll just... Okay, so we'll just keep that the secret on who is Snipo. Yeah. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. The, the show is still calling the uh, Snipe on the other guys. Snipe and the other guys. I would yeah. be the other guy, and who are you guys? I would be Naru. Oh, well, that's just crazy. Snipe and Naru. Because I have Cracker Jack. Oh, again. Yay. You seem to have those a lot. Yes. Of so course. Are you, you going to be eating those on the air? Do I go get my pizza again? <laughs> Uh, I could eat one on the air if you'd like me to. No, no, I just did not do that. You know, just don't. Yeah. So anyway, um, let's talk about something here. Yeah. Huh. Um, Before we get any more off topic. Yeah. Talk um, about things. Yeah, we was talking about the aspect that um, Boris, Boris, Boris. What is it? Boris? 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 I don't know, dude. I have never heard my name in English, uh, but it looks like it is Boris. Well, we'll call you Boris then. <laughs> Don't. Well, let's call, let's talk about that. Our uh, Mexican friend Boris is uh, racist against uh, kangaroos. Yeah. Interesting stuff. A starting topic. Yes, it was great, wasn't but it? But can you be racist against kangaroos? Apparently, you can, because he says he is. He's self-declared. I'm still calling it uh, specious. He's specious. Racist definition of racist. Person who believes in racism, the doctrine that a certain human race is superior to any or all others. So no, I don't think it can be racist. What, what about human kangaroos? Well, well, then you're getting into the modification of genes, and then you're just going. That's an entirely different topic altogether. Well, he could be racist against those, though, right? Again, there's a the definition. So what's the definition of race? Um, I don't know. What's the definition of race? Uh, Contest First, of speed, as in running, riding. Uh, yes. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> How come Claire doesn't answer these questions? Claire. She should, but... Yeah, she's she's a lady. Actually, you're going back show. to that original topic. Is Also, also you could talk about more, for instance, why are people afraid of certain animals in general? Like, why does everyone always seem to be afraid of spiders? Because they're scary, man. Nobody's scared of spiders. Spiders are scary. I mean, they're cute and fuzzy and awesome, but they're scary, man. Here, let's no, take I mean, a survey. It comes <laughs> off way too often. But people always seem to be afraid. I've always heard numerous people seem to be afraid of spiders. Because yeah. they're small, you, they move quickly, you can't really see where they are, and they may or may not be poisonous. Boris, it's like the same reason spiders? you're afraid of assassins. <laughs> <laughs> I think those are slightly different scenarios. But it's, a sa- it's the same type of thing. You A lot of times you don't really know where it is because it's so small and agile, and it may or may not be poisonous, and... Uh, you fear if it's after you. That's why a lot of people are afraid of spiders. You know, there is a fact that a human being is never away more than three meters of a spider. What? Yeah. I can't hear you. You may want to reconnect. Three meters from a spider? Oh, yeah. Never three meters from a spider. Oh, that's just saying. You say something, you... Like, something like that. The, there is always a, a spider uh, in your reach of three meters. Maybe, maybe I have them around me. I never get rid of any of the spider webs in my room. But the one thing is, I mean, let's say if you're down and you're harvesting bananas, banana spider, that's a real that thing will just kill you. So that's understandable if you're afraid of those. And then you're there working on the job. But let's say you're up in the city and you're worried that just afraid of spiders in general when there's 
no native poison spiders in the region. Now, that's something that I find difficult but to But are people really going to be that informed? The only spiders that they'll know about is kind of in the movies or the banana spiders that kill people. And so they're just going to assume all spiders are like deadly, even when you sell them otherwise. Well, the uh, perfectly understood. That seem to perfectly that spiders aren't dangerous, but still fear them anyway. Black widows and brown recluse and black widow really can't kill you, but the brown recluse, yes. Then again, if you're getting to irrational fears in general, if you fear going outside, people who the, the I got a friend who's afraid of talking on the phone. I just like that. I'm not afraid of it. Try, so tried to make him talk on the phone once. He locked himself in the bathroom. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's a different problem altogether. Yeah, and he was prepared to sleep in the bathroom to not talk on the phone. Wow. Why, why, how ugly was the girl? <laughs> no, it was just pretty bad if it came to the phone. I know. I just, how's he ever going to get like in a really serious, committed relationship? Because you know she's going to want to talk on the phone. I mean, I've got claustrophobia and a fear of heights. So those things never really come up on at all in everyday life, so I can really live with that. I've never had to deal with those. Well, How bad is your claustrophobia? Is it like you can't get in a box or you can't get in an airplane? Can't get in a box. So airplane's cool? Yeah, airplanes are fine. What about a Volkswagen? They're okay. I mean, airplanes I'm afraid of for a different reason, merely because the fear of heights comes in. Heights? Yeah. You don't know you're up high. You're just in a plane. You're just cruising along. Cruising. I like airplanes. It depends on how... At what an angle are they taking off at? Are they taking off at, let's say, like a 40-degree angle, or are they going for, like, you know, vertical ascents? Well, <laughs> on definitely... the airport. So, you know, airports are different, so there you go. Yeah. And the there's airline airports company also, yeah. and the pilot itself. Yeah. Like, you get on that one plane, and there's, like, patchwork all over the wings, and you expect the ground to come out at any point in time. Yeah, yeah not that thing. You don't get on those unless you're going through certain hey, things before. Duct tape can hold a plane together pretty darn well, thank you very much. I've been on those planes. There's just average, average flip to um, California. That's what really bothers me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you get in that uh, little biplane. Is, oh, oh, oh. Why does he oh, keep doing that? And by the way, I don't think you can be racist to kangaroos. Race seems to always pertain to other human species. So. Have you spent that time looking that up to be 100% sure? What about being racist to some kind of race of kangaroo? It's got to be human. Sorry. If you're no, a human, between between racist, between, between be kangaroos, human. kangaroos, they, they have races, no? Oh, Probably the race not, of kangaroos? They don't have sentience. <laughs> <laughs> to be racist, you kind of need sentience. Yeah. I don't know. They kind of like, they know things. Like Kangaroo Jack. That was a movie once. Oh, I like the way he's phrasing this, though, because kangaroos have races, you know, much like dogs. What kind of phrase is your dog? <laughs> <laughs> the term is breed. <laughs> you see that you can be racist. I mean, is this a translation issue? <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Like, I don't like those German terriers. <laughs> so Those are the eyes. Who erases the Doberman? <laughs> it could be. I don't know, maybe. What about Don't the chihuahua? To use this go- oh, chihuahua. chihuahua. That's a rat. That's not a dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a dog. That's, that's, that's racist, rat. dude. That's racist. Chihuahua is a racist rat. Racist against what race? Yeah. We have to exactly. figure out whether they're in fact <laughs> full rat or full dog or some <laughs> hybrid of the mix, because that's my suspicion there. Well, is it like, you know, the chihuahua is like, what, Mexican dog? So then, like, uh, Shih Tzu is like a Chinese dog? Yeah. Okay. So what's Bulldog. a what's a bulldog? Big Paul is sexy. <laughs> yes. I mean, look exactly. at those things. They're magnificent. <laughs> they are magnificent. <laughs> Especially with the interned little paws. I know. That's the best part. They can't even run. They like waddle at a fast rate. Yeah, what, what, what about the... Like, uh, crazy they strut. Noses. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the best part. What's a Sharpay? A little wrinkle Sharpay? dog. Yeah. Oh, th- those things? Yeah, the, the big wrinkle. <laughs> I don't. I don't really have to do with those things. Like they're goofy dogs. Man. They, look, they literally do. They oh, like a big wrinkle. So, um, speciesism is actually a word. Okay. <laughs> and so you'd be speciesism to kangaroos. No, oh. dude, I'm just racist. Yeah, <laughs> just racist. <laughs> speciesism. He, right. he, he shortened it down. He calls them bruise. 
He's like stupid Rose. <laughs> he, he's kind of redneck in that aspect. He blames all the things on the Ruse. He's like stupid cables going out. Darn Ruse. <laughs> stupid Obama. man. Stupid Ruse. <laughs> what was the first one? Obama. Obama. Yeah. Dude, he's not a kangaroo. Mm, he could be. He could be. Oh. <laughs> Have you met him in I person? I haven't heard this conspiracy theory yet. No, I have not met him. It would him certainly person. explain he might a lot. A kangaroo. Wait, what would that explain? I can't see him being a kangaroo would change anything. Well, you know, instead of like illogical decisions, he just kicks things. Exactly. That's why he would explain a lot. I don't think I've ever seen him kick anything. <laughs> well, you know, it's TV. He's learned yeah. to up his back a little. That's how he got voted for. If he yeah, exactly. kicked things, you wouldn't have voted for him. Duh. Really? You got to think of these things. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now checking on this here. I'm a Republican. I'm mean, not Republican. I'm an independent. You two Republicans. Paris, what's your more political party preference if you were to lean towards one when you come to America? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Which one hates kangaroos? <laughs> no, that would be the Republicans. <laughs> Which one will grant me that when we don't get, we don't will get invasion by kangaroos? That all, that. As long as the yeah, Democrats they, hold office, they're going to have kangaroos up there, like Obama. Yeah, one's, one's uh, called, the other one's elephants, right? Which party is Obama? Um, he's uh, elephants or donkeys? I don't remember which. No, oh, well, well, I mean, Republicans. He's a Democrat. <laughs> Democratic? Yes, Democratic. Yeah, I'm playing for Democratic. You're going for Democratic? Yeah. So you 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 want Obama? Yeah. But he doesn't like kangaroo. He 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 loves kangaroos. He is a kangaroo. He is a kangaroo. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> That's what Tell Trump determined. Did. He would love this theory. <laughs> to get to what? Trump. <laughs> For how long you carried on about that birth certificate? Uh, party. What is that? I respect Trump as a businessman. I do not respect him as a politician. Democrats are donkeys. Yep. There you go. So Republicans are elephants. So which one hates um, um, kangaroos more? <laughs> are we basing political theories off of the relation of their relation to kangaroos? That's another question. Because, because nature is absolute. Yeah, we got to figure out what you know. I mean, just type into your YouTube donkeys versus kangaroos. <laughs> <laughs> That's an now you're getting this like back alley like animal ring fighting here. This is an entirely different situation. The first thing that comes up is gay animals slash kangaroos. No, no, the close link. Close the link. Not the growl or something. You do not want to see that. I don't even know what we would involve, but you do not want to see it. Why does all this thing about kangaroo mating and breeding come up when I type donkeys versus kangaroos? No. I don't understand. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> People are elephants versus kangaroos. <laughs> oh no! Did you find anything that says kangaroos versus elephants? Something I was actually looking for. That can't be right. So you apparently, one? donkeys and kangaroos mate, whereas elephants and kangaroos actually fight. So well, there you go. Sense. That's how Obama came to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that will be Obama or the other guy, Rodney? Yeah, yeah, the uh, elephant. Yeah. Then the elephant is Rodney. The elephant is Rodney. So I like elephants. Yeah, I, I'm, re I'm Republican. Why is this based off of animals? I mean, there should be more yeah. scientific basis for picking your political yeah, party. Steve, you know, Steve, you know, what does science study? Nature. And what is nature? <laughs> animals. <laughs> there you go. You know, this is actually I'm making sorry. a lot of sense in terms of the way he's picking his political party. It makes a lot of sense to the way most of the country picks their political party. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's about the amount of logic they put into it. They're like, um, I like this one's fur better. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. I'm going that way. Cool. Next. I'm afraid that many people pick their political parties based on the way they pick their baseball team. Then I hate Obama because he's so picking this kangaroo. One. My dad liked this political party, so I'm picking this one. Mm-hmm. And then you ask him why. Give me some stats. What's the deal? Uh, 
well, I remember, um, why do people like the Cubs? There is no scientific proof, because they always lose. <laughs> because people like underdogs. Okay. Underdogs requires them to actually, like, win. Yes, like, but people are blind to a lot of things, you see. So, Did yeah. I blind? So, either way, he's a racist against um, kangaroos. kangaroos. Yeah. Specious. There we go. No, no, no. <laughs> Specious. Yep. So, what else uh, can we um, determine from this? Chihuahuas are rats. Chihuahuas are rats. Chihuahuas are rats. And people have questionable meanings of picking their political parties. Yes, very questionable in some cases. Okay. So, uh, do we go to the hair extension ripoffs? Or do we go to... Wait, I'm going to say for a few things. First of all, my knowledge of hair extensions is non-existent. And second, what is an Anaki? Okay, well, I can't answer the second one without answering what it is and then going into it. So, can't do it, so we'll stick with hair extensions. Hair extensions are added to your hair. Uh, oh, really? my God. That, Perhaps so they are clean your hair? Yes, they're very, you know, they, they're... Now, we're going to have to call it Hera uh, with an H. I mean, the A. The A-H, Hera. Yes. And you add it to your Hera, and it... Uh, Makes it longer or something. Either which way, these things are being ripped off throughout the country. They're about a hundred bucks a package. And uh, yeah, what? Here you go. So far, the thefts have equaled uh, around the country have equaled up to one hundred sixty thousand dollars worth of hair extensions. What? What? Okay. Yep. Um, I have a few questions. First, I don't get how hair extensions really work. Whether like you strap them to your neck or something along those lines. No, you can. Um, that a feeling that. Wait, that none of you could probably answer that question because I'm hoping none of you use them. Well, second, if you, were to, a while. if you were to steal hair extensions, where do you actually sell those? Who buys hair extensions? How many? Is there enough companies out there? Wait, it's a black market dealer hair extensions. Uh, eBay. Why do, why do those exist? Black market for hair extensions. <laughs> they exist because, like you know, then people you, buy them. Duh. Yeah. As long as someone's willing to store it, it's probably going to exist. Unless it's like really good. Some countries, it's not like the raw goods, which you can just sell to someone who then manufactures them. It's like you're stealing money. You're stealing finished goods. No, it is like stealing money. In some countries, actually, they stop women, uh, they threaten them, and they try, they cut the hair of the woman, and they go running, and then they sell the hair. Yeah, but this isn't like that at all. This yeah, is pre-marketed that's raw material, which will then be probably used in a wig. Yeah, this is actually by a. They're, a matter of fact, they're targeting one specific company. It even seems they're oh. uh, Remy, Remy, Remy. Well, maybe they're just trying to screw over that company. R E M Y Remy hair extensions. They cost about hundred bucks. Criminal ring just dedicated to bring down this company. No, they, they, they're just the most. Or it could be personal vendettas. Maybe it's a smaller company which relies off high and common thugs to steal their products as they resell. Robbers last sure. last year robbers made away with a reported two hundred and thirty thousand dollars worth of their hair extensions. There you go. Perhaps I've been to be in my criminal career, that's what I should start. Yeah, so we should start a hair ripping off them. What the heck? Yes, rip off people's hair. That's yeah. what you gotta do. So terrible. Yeah, but no, these they're actually used um, by many women that you wouldn't otherwise think. And you glue them in and braid them in or whatever. So that's how. But yeah, they're being targeted. There you go. It's a very interesting topic. Yes. We're just falling apart here, aren't we? I just want there to be vats of pudding in the grocery store. I don't want those little snack cups. I want like a big tub of pudding. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so much to ask for. <laughs> no, man. Now, actually, I do kind of get where he's co- coming from. Like, if we want pudding, you don't want just a little bit of pudding. You want oh, we're going with the pudding. Okay, go ahead. Only for a little bit here. We'll see if we actually get back to your next topic. But I have had this issue. That's why you got to make your own pudding, but Jonathan. you got to... Get pudding in larger amounts by making it yourself. Okay, there's two ways you can get pudding in the store. 
or at least there was when I was younger, okay? You could do the snack cup pudding thing that Bill Cosby was advertising, or you could do the big Del Monte chocolate pudding can that was five gallons. Where is that? I've never seen that in my grocery That's store. actually something I would like to know about. I'd like to find those cans. I don't know. It used to be around. It might not be anymore, but it used to be. Well, How is it? Yeah, we'll bring this back. Well, you, the grocery stores used to have this one small section where they had the Sam size stuff. Like you could get the nacho oh. cheese, the Rico nacho cheese. It was like huge. And you know, they had a couple other things too. Like you could get a big old dill of pickles over there. Uh, some stuff like that. And uh, one of the things they had was the uh, pudding. Um, five gallon pudding. Okay, Jonathan, we're so going you just pudding. pudding only get a bucket of pudding. Nice. Yeah. And you could, you always got it where you could eat it all. <laughs> okay, that's an issue. Pudding run. Let's do this. So, there you go. You just can't. It's not good. It's just, ugh. You can't, you can't drink that, eat that much pudding. So, you'd think you'd want the bigger one, but no, you don't want the bigger one. Let's get to like 20 of these. We'll be set for like a week. All right. <laughs> Say we think we want the bigger one. No, we know we want. The you do not. That, no. that's, that is an established fact. We know we want. Are you going to bathe in it or something? I mean, yes. Yeah. That is mentioned, but now before we get any more off topic, back to your la- uh, your other option. The Anigo. What nurse is that? Okay, yeah. Anigo is a new engine designed for, uh, um, what do you call it? Physical items, I guess. Basically, what these are is these are electronic-driven. They use an algorithm, the whole deal. They run off of a uh, software that is uh, distributed via Bluetooth uh, from actually a cell phone that uses a logical algorithm, to which case you can have variables and all that. And what it is, realistically, is it's a physical video game. And right off your cell phone. You can actually yeah. control physical items with your cell phone, and it will do the uh, stuff for us. kind of cool. A little bit more. When, what do you mean by controlling physical items? It's an it's an AI. It's an uh, artificial intelligence for robotic applica- applications. So my phone is now being. No, your That's my your thing. phone is now talking to a physical whatever, and it gives the uh, logi- logistics and all that to the device on how to operate according to whatever you want to. Oh, do. I see. So it's an AI interaction between your phone and another el- electronic uh, applications, for instance. Yeah. So in the example that they get, they dis- uh, displayed for us today, they actually had racetrack of, uh, I think it was five, four cars, three cars, something like that, that were all being controlled independently by the uh, algorithm on the phone via Bluetooth. And then they gave it a fourth phone, fourth uh, vehicle, to which case it had a whole different configuration thing and they ran them faster and then they reconfigured them to where the cars were now designed to block the one that was trying to go faster. And they instantly on the fly started blocking him and they couldn't, you know. So it was like one of these in the future they're going to make video games like this. Now here's another one of my questions. Is this a, a working towards a true AI or a virtual AI? A VI? Um, I don't know. It's on the cell phone. Who knows? Because art, actual artificial intelligence doesn't just require a uh, the ability to progr- uh, act like that, but moreover, ability to learn and then to establish more information within itself. Well, the deal is that it would figure out its own variables independently as it was going around. So that's for calling it an AI. The deal would be like you could make a robotic car, you know, out of the same type of thing and ran off your cell phone. And you could drive yourself to work, and it would automatically figure out how to drive you eventually and blah, blah, blah. So they were calling it AI in that aspect. But it's not like it was, a, you know, learning and eventually turn into the matrix, you know. No. Yeah, so it's still technically a VI. I'm still waiting for those. Yeah. So. It sounds like a fun day. Yeah. Well, good for them and their program. I hope it grows well and doesn't turn into iRobot. You, you, yeah, you, no iRobot, man. No Matrix. No Skynet? Come on, man. Skynet would be cool, you know? Oof. It should be. I mean, what, what if we don't use Skynet? We just get the things out of the Matrix. I mean, you know, I want to know Kung Fu that quick. That would be an uh, extra bonus. Okay, so so you're, you the technology of the Matrix is here, okay? And they tell you we can... Instantly upload your brain with whatever, okay? 
Finally. But you can only do one subject. Oh, that's a big question. Oh, then what do you I define the of the next of great? No, 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 it's done. You you only get one. They've got, that's what they figured out. There's a limit to the whole technology. It can only do one subject. What do you I, 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 I will wait. For instance, as in math and history, or could, could I say like science, just history? everything to do with science, or all of history, or all of fighting styles, or would I have to be like specifically more specific, as in like just kung fu? Well, we'll, we'll justify it by like what the Matrix said, right? They didn't have like martial arts, mm -hmm. right? They had kung fu, so it was like a subject criteria within the subject. So it was like all the martial arts. It was just like one particular style. I wonder how people would choose boxing with that option. Uh, well, how about languages? Could I just choose languages and know all the lang all languages? No, you could pick one language. Just one language? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. So, well, it's just one know. language, then not, definitely not going to go with language. No? No, no could, it's just one. You could know Spanish and talk to Boris here. Yeah, or I could spend yeah, you go, about a year you learning Spanish of... and master 50 years of the martial arts instead. Mm hmm. So. Good. Yeah, so speak uh, Spanish for us again there, Boris. Oh, speaking oh, Spanish oh. Very good, sir. I understood you totally. Like co op for all roles. <laughs> now, if you're talking to a female in Spanish, how do you do that? Um, hey there, sexy lady. <laughs> <laughs> See? I think we figured out Boris's problem. He doesn't know how to speak to women. <laughs> I see. <laughs> he only knows how to speak to dudes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's a problem there. <laughs> you well, want to get that fixed. Speaking to yeah. girls, you, you should download how to speak to girls. Yes, you, you should. Go. That's what he should do. He, should, he could get that put in his brain on how to talk to women. If they figured out how to make that into a subject. I will use that for another thing. I don't know, maybe it's just like uh you could use it really wise. It is like a wish. You ho you only have one, but you can try to think a little bit and then discover what is the what is the best option for you. You say that you only can ask for something, so it has to be really good. Yeah. That's get like a language trial or something. Food. I mean yeah, but like like kung fu, right? Like that's what. What what about if I have that kind of stuff? I can get in my brain like a super knowledge about cancer or about a disease. Okay, so you, you can so have I cancer can cure. uploaded. I'll, I'll give you that. You could have a cancer uploaded. You could be a cancer doctor, or you know, that quick. Yeah, that will be really. Fun. Then you won't know kung fu. Yeah, you won't know kung fu. <laughs> I, I don't want to know Kung Fu. I just need a handgun or something like that, and you're screwed. <laughs> no, but you're a dirty and doctor now. You don't know any of that stuff, dude. You're just cancer doctor. Yeah. And then if they cure that, you're screwed. You just wasted your thing. You know, you just now you no know, useless. Yeah, well, but Kung Fu is using for a fight. You, you're going to use cancer for a fight? Yeah, maybe I can give. He's going to give you cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked your butt. I gave you cancer. Yeah. See where you are in 20 years. I shall defeat you in five to ten years. Just you wait. Yeah. Oh. So, no. Just, no. I don't know. I don't know what subject I'd want, though. Would, what what martial arts style would you pick? John. So you probably know a bit more than that because you a lot more practice than he does in martial arts. Yeah. I know. And, like, you know, I mean, so you could know 50 years of a martial art. Boom. Is that what you're going to do with it, though? I'm not sure. That's why I've been spending all this time thinking, man. I mean, thinking about I might go with brain surgeon, nuclear physicist, you know, I don't know, something like that. Um, but you got something really obscure that no one else really knows. Yeah. I'd upload uh, presidential stuff, but it's a pretty small file, I'll get to imagine. Wouldn't get a lot out of that. <laughs> you can get all of Clinton's shot. All of Clinton's charms? Or that's a really small dude. So, I don't know. Ask a secretary. Ask a secretary? Well. <laughs> mm. This is wrong. 
Well, we're ending on a bad note this week. Yeah. Awesome. Best show not ever. No. We've got 10 seconds. We're going to well, some I have been Haru, and I still have Cracker Jacks. Yes. What is with you and your Cracker Jacks? I'm still questioning that. Oh, what? No. You don't like Cracker Jacks? You're Cracker, Cracker Jack hater? Jacks. Bye-bye. Have I had a Cracker Jack? Bye. I've never had one. Then maybe this year here. Oh, we got a remedy to that. Get over here. Mm. I think first thing you go on that pudding raid. Never forget the pudding raid. All right. Oh. Pudding raid. Five, ten seconds out. Yeah, we're like whatever. Yeah. And we're going. It's still going. End episode. Sure. Yes. No, no, we still have time for me.